If you do 165, it has to be Conor. Why? You can't. That's dumb. You stop. You no, stop I'm telling it right you. now. No, I'm, I'm telling you. You want me to tell you come. why? Want me yeah. to tell you why? Because you're introducing a new weight class. It has to mean something. You can't have two normal fighters introducing the weight. Look, it didn't work. It didn't work at 145 when they did it for the women. And it didn't well, they work. They only had two people in the division. But it doesn't matter. No, it, not initially, but not initially, Ben. It ended up being two people. But if you recall, Jermaine Durandamy fought Holly Holm for that championship in Brooklyn. Wasn't a great fight. But then Jermaine Durandamy won the fight, refused to fight Chris Cyborg. Yeah, that was wild. Nobody took it serious. <laughs> that was crazy. Until Chris Cyborg became the champion. And Wait, when Chris Cyborg it, became the champion, it wasn't a problem. But that wasn't only, because that she had a big because, name. That was because she hadn't lost in freaking. But that was the old the only reason that worked was because it was Chris Cyborg. And that'll be the same thing. No, if you you're wrong. Add this belt you're without wrong. a guy with a name. You're wrong. <laughs> yeah, you are. You can't yeah. just say I'm wrong. You got to give me something to make me ah, believe. That. You're wrong. Listen, no, Chris Cyborg hadn't lost. Everyone knew she was the best fighter in the world that weight class. That's why no one gave a damn when someone else had the belt because they knew who the best fighter was. Conor McGregor can't win a fight. He hasn't won a fight. But that, it, but, but, do you, but do you? But do you? Since twenty sixteen. But do you know that Conor McGregor is not the best one sixty five pound fighter in the world? You don't know that because you've never seen it. You shut up. I'm serious. Never. You don't know that because you've never seen it. What if Conor McGregor at one sixty five is the perfect spot for him? You just stop right now. I'm you're, serious. Uh, you're trying to make me angry. You, no, you said, I'm not. I'm going to come in and try to be pissed Ben off. No, I'm serious, Ben. Okay, but, okay, listen. No, if we're going to make a 65 division, I'm great with it. I actually, I think it, I think it's great. I'm a fan of it, even though it doesn't benefit me now because I'm old and retired. I thought it was a good idea back then. I think it's a good idea now. I think it's a great idea. Why Conor wouldn't McGregor. it be Chandler McGregor? Because Conor McGregor hasn't beat anyone meaningful since 2016. Daniel, we're in 2024. The last <laughs> time, the last time Conor McGregor beat anyone meaningful, Barack Obama was president. Yeah, I know. But Bro, listen. that's wild. No, Think but, about that. Dude, but, dude, but see, here's the thing, right? You're giving me facts that really don't matter. Well, whereas I'm matter. giving you Winning facts. Fights? Where, whereas I'm giving you facts that actually can show you why it works, and that's because of Chris Cyborg. If No, Chris Cyborg if, was actually good at fighting at that time. But if Demetrius Johnson wasn't the first flyweight champion of the world, I don't know if it mattered. If Valentina Wait, Shevchenko, he? if Valentina Shevchenko didn't go from 135 after fighting Amanda so close at 35 to 125, I don't know if it works. Listen to this. Yoana Yunjacek went up from 115 to fight 125 because, again, they needed name, a name to solidify the belt. You can't do it, Ben. Hey, Leon Edwards goes 175 and is crowned the champion immediately. Nobody bats an eyelid. But if you put two dudes that are fantastic, but they have no name value, you end up in a position where you have a belt like the women's featherweight division. No, you. this is wrong. This is wrong. I'm telling you, bro. No. Okay, 165, 165 pounds is actually literally the most, probably the most competitive weight class in the world. Like, this is the this is where men are. That's how much, that's how big they grow. 165 pounds. You're going to get the most dudes in that weight class, more than any weight class. And if you actually look at the depth of 55 and 70, so I remember I, I did this when uh, when I was pushing the issue. Between 55 and 70, there was like 220 people on the roster, right? So 220 people between two weight classes. But then there's like heavyweight and there's like 40 of them. There's like 125. There's like 40 of them. Like these weight classes are so big. Women's featherweight. I don't even know why you keep bringing that damn thing up. Well, Dana, because they the, had to give Chris Cyborg a belt because she's the best woman in the world. But there's <laughs> they never had more than three people in that division. They had no, fake that's not ones true. move up. They that's had not fake true. ones move up. They had 135s go up. They weren't actually 45. Stop. I will tell name, you. Name actual 45s. All right. Aspen Ladd. Jermaine Durandamy. No, 35. 
No, Jermaine Durant. Put Durand, that finger down. Put your Holly finger Holm, down. Chris Cyborg. Holly Holm, 35. Megan, Megan, uh, she Megan. She actually was. She actually that was. Girl, Megan Anderson. She sucked, uh, though. The, it doesn't matter what you think about the way That's they three. Fight. You named three. You named no, three. No, I named five. No, you didn't. Two of them were 35. You can't also double the count. Gal, also, the gal that fought her from Canada fought Amanda Nunes for yeah, a belt was her name. 45. She was, she was not very good also. <laughs> All right, you got four. You got four. See? Four I'm people. listening. Daniel, they have four people in that division. That's why no, no one took it seriously because there's only four people in there. Well, that's the problem. Yeah, you're right. Weight classes matter. Yeah, and... Classes matter. uh Part of that is is why uh, I believe, or hey, if you don't want to do a 165 pound championship, make 165 weight class for only BMFs, and then run the <laughs> BMF title, run okay. the BMF title through 165 pounds. Imagine that oh if 165 gosh. was the home of the BMF championship, how wow. many people would do it? How many people do you think would actually the do home it? Home of the BMF, yeah, probably. Uh, it probably would, it would attract more. 70s and 55s than the other weight classes for sure. Could you imagine though, like Ben, if you make 165 the home of the BMF, and all those guys <laughs> listen, stop. no, listen, listen. Think about this, Ben. Think about this, Ben. If you make 165 the home of the BMF, now you get all those guys who aren't necessarily champions. Because right now, right now, Justin Gaethje, Max Holloway fighting for the BMF title. It, it while it makes sense and Dustin Poirier, it almost feels like it's not right because those guys are actually championship level fighters. Yeah, they if are. Osvaldo fought Diaz for the BMF title. You knew both of them weren't championship level fighters anymore. Fair. But if 165 was the home of the BMF championship, actually, hold on, hold on. That's all those fun Osvaldo fights. Osvaldo actually got a title fight after that fight. I don't know if you remember that. He did. That was what propelled them to the Usman fight. Actually, no, 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 no. It's not what propelled them to the Usman no. fight. What propelled him to the Usman fight was Stop, because somebody got hurt. You remember someone got oh, hurt and did the fight yeah, on short yeah, notice? Yeah. Right. That got him the title fight. He wasn't getting the title fight right away. I feel like it, oh, I don't feel like it should Shaw. be. I feel like it should be all the fun guys fighting for the BMF the title guys. at one. Well, I mean, if you do the other the other positive to sixty five, and I said this back in the day was you're going to get more people to be able to move around, right? And and the, the interdivision matchups are actually a lot of fun. So 55s would be willing to fight 65. 65s might go up to fight 75s, right? And people might move around a little more. You just don't want them dudes. Like, that's why it needs to be home of the BMF. Because if it's the home uh -huh. of the BMF, listen, if it's the home of the BMF, oh they can't challenge for champ champ status. Because right now the champ champ thing is going crazy. Right, you would agree. I'm okay with it. With it. I told what we talked about. Is I'm okay with it as long as the person's active, like a, a Volkanovsky. I'm yeah. okay with him trying because he's super active.